All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today. And this time, I'm taking a look at a new trailer for Returnal. This one's called Atropos. Atropos? A T R O P O S. A T R O P O S. Uh, I don't know, that sounds so songy to me. Um, Atropos. I'm sure that's something they referenced in a previous uh, Returnal video. I just don't remember. Um, and uh, yeah, so that means I'm assuming they released this trailer a day before the State of Play because they're not going to talk about this during the State of Play, which I guess is fine. You know, I think we've got enough information where for now on you could just like post trailers and that's good. I, I think we're, I, th I think we're good. Uh, it also doesn't come out for another two months, so maybe they'll be doing another state of play. They, I could even see them doing a state of play before this game comes out. I mean, they did one for Destruction All-Stars, and I think that game's already dead, which is upsetting. Um, uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's take a look at the... Not dead, but, you know. It's, it's doing well. It's just like, you know, whatever. It's a free game, so it should be doing decently. Um, anyway, if you have PS Plus, it's free. Anyway, uh, return old baby Atropos. Let's uh, let's go. Let's find out what the hell this means. There's a creepy house. I'm getting control vibes a little bit. Um, no reason, but yeah. I just played Control recently again. I've, I've played it before. Free on PS5. Pluto. Celine. Oh, we're in ruins. Scout log. 30 minutes since last crash. Okay. This forest contains extensive ruins of a xenotype civilization. Ancient walls, foundations, and Ooh. statues. The forest is a swamp now. That's... That can't be here. Oh. Yeah. This must be the city created by the sentients. Scans show that the broadcast originates from the tower. This Whoa. technology seems to indicate the designers were part of a hive mind. I lo I'm loving the designs. I passed through the teleportation gate into a sprawling creatures. desert, detecting another strange energy from the mountain's summit, ascending towards destination. Dude, there's a lot of storytelling in these environments. These pillars affect the severed so profoundly. So that's how they get away with her being the only character but still talking, is that she's doing logs? This isn't... No, it is. The same coordinates as the desert. I, I recognize the mountaintop, but where are the room structures? And... Well, maybe it is a little bit more control than I was like. This has changed. Oh no, it's a palace from Persona 5. Returnal. Wow, that's... That was a good trailer. Graphically, it's looking pretty freaking nice, too. Which I expect from Housemark. Um, because they usually have really nice looking games. Even if they, their games are technically... Simple. This one doesn't seem like it is. This is probably their most ambitious game. I hope it does well, too, because I heard their last couple games didn't do so well. Um, it's looking really nice. I love the designs of the environments. So, you're going through everything. You go to Overgrown Ruins, Derelict Citadel, uh, Crimson Water, uh, Waste, sorry. Uh, unknown... Oh, okay, we don't... Biome? Okay, so... Okay, so we didn't get on any of that stuff yet. Okay. Just gonna keep it secret from us. Okay, okay. I guess we'll figure it out when the game comes out and there's a new trailer. Um, it's looking nice. And uh, the only problem I have, not that I have a problem. I hope we, I hope we get. If she's gonna keep talking and talking and talking throughout the game, I hope we get to understand her as a person, and we like her. Right now, it seems like she's just stuck in a, you know, another time loop. Another time loop game. There's a few of them coming out. Um, because that's, that's her thing, right? Is that when she dies, she comes back, she's stuck in a... Maybe not a time loop, but she gets revived a lot. So, I think. And she even said in the beginning, like, 30 minutes since last break or something, or whatever she said. Uh, which I'm assuming since last she she died and respawned, I guess. I or maybe you go... Well, I, I guess you progress in this... I'm assuming you progress in this game like like a regular game, too. Because it looks like you're, you're going to, to all these different places. Um, so I'm assuming you get to certain checkpoints, and once you die, you go back to that checkpoint. 
but then you have to progress again. So this, this might be one of those games where it gets really challenging. It's looking gorgeous, though, and it's looking kind of creepy, too. So, hey, I'm down. I'm down. $70 for this game? I'm not too sure about that, but we'll see. We'll see. House Mark hasn't let people down yet, I don't think. I think Matterfall was the only one that was, like, good but not, like, amazing. I, I could be wrong there, but Next Machina I heard was fantastic. Resogun was fantastic. Um, there are other games where I forgot the other games. Um, but, uh, yeah. Returnal, baby. Returnal, baby. There you go. Bye.